Next. We've got uh, two, two PPT icons right here. Duking really? it out in Tetris Effect. And yeah, this is certain to be uh, a hell of a matchup, I hope. And here we go. Uh oh, tier nine spotted. Uh oh, tier Spins. nine, dude. Uh, who let this guy in here? I thought this was square one. <laughs> we only have the best of the best. Thank you. <laughs> I almost thought I got my second tier ten. Come on. <laughs> All right, well here we, we go, go start, baby. Start with the SC bag, the anti TEC bag. Uh, you show to hit the PC. Bam's this is got tough a couple, start uh, for Bam G here because yeah. there's like no zone in case there's another spike coming in here. This is already high pressure. Digging but, out beautifully though. Absolutely right out of and it. And now Uyashoda is the one in a bit of an awkward position. Oh, does not know what to do with that uh uh that T piece. Had to think think on yeah, his feet that, pretty quickly. That quick zone is a little rough, but oh, yeah, and he's just also gonna going, have to do some digging. Yeah, definitely. Going back and forth with the with the mist drops. Yeah, a bit of a, a cold start here for both players, <laughs> but hey, hoops among us does not have that, you know. It happens to the best of us. Indeed, indeed. With MG getting a 40 on the zone there, but and you now, sort of not even having the zone to cancel ooh, that. Yashoda. Okay, but the mist drop forcing them to not because Bamji's attack. Still some good possibilities here for Uyashoda if they can get another eyepiece. Not quite, but just about able to oh, match it. It's more than enough for Bamji. Opting not to zone there. Yeah, that was definitely uh and there's still the stats are still not bad. It's a bit of a cold start, but I'm sure they'll warm up as the as this first to seven gets underway here. Oh, we have yeah, the topple pop logo flash on screen for a second. Absolutely. <laughs> Shout outs to uh to our sponsor, Topple Pop. Great. Again, game. looks super fun. I gotta try it sometime. That's fantastic. Oh, yeah. okay. Bam just keeping match. it mad clean right now. Yeah, like Bam six three. Until until that big spike came through, uh keeping it nice and low down. Yeah, but this really good transition with oh, these little misdrops, man G or it's getting more consistent. Yeah. You know, it's, it's not as rough as their first game, but Oh, that was exactly. a little scary. It's, you know? it's nothing, and, and uh, nothing too uh, too dangerous, but it's uh, you know stifling the uh, the efficiency, stifling the momentum. Uh, yes, it's something that no player really wants Ooh. to deal with. Okay, it's so the mid game like just. You showed in the zone now. Doesn't really have very... too much to do. That was still Man. a fifty-five. Yeah, that's some good stuff. It's gonna be a lot. I like the cleanliness at the top of the board there for BMG. Just yeah, one line BMG short, but with a fifty-four, from... but had that extra pressure beforehand. Yeah, winning the uh, winning out the exchange. Yeah, it listened over. It's one of those moments in this game. It's like I've been starting to get and play TEC versus a little bit more. Uh, it's like one of those moments where you just get like a chunk of clean garbage right after that like slight exchange. Yeah, even if you come out less in the in these early zones, like sometimes having that extra like it's 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 such a great boost. I don't know. You can do some really fun stuff with it. Yeah, absolutely. Ooh, the more the more really you nice play donation. TEC, the more you realize it's uh, you know. Uh, not perhaps not more so than efficiency, but it's very much a game that's all about uh, positioning. Yes, yeah. And, there's uh, there's there's some interesting flavor to it, and you see that here with Bamji uh, as we crossed into phase three, accepting uh, yeah, all of this cheese. Ooh, still this, alive this though. Still alive. Has a down stack. Yeah. Look this at this. Could be this huge. Go. Surviving oh, for the time board. being. We should his board is a little bit too good right now. Uh, Bamji is going to be one crazy uphill battle to survive this and. They're not even able to get any pressure on to you should his board in the first place. They'll... They're living. Hopefully. They're, they're living. Yeah, they canceled it all. That was a 20. Yeah, that 20 was. 20 line. But Uyushoda, one of the and you should does not have full zone. This this, this could send, uh, this, you know, uh, I think. Oh, that's. That was Ben's going to have to be smart about MG. this. They're going to have to find one of, another one of those oh, crazy nonsense. Oh, but that's going to be Garrett's. Drop. Oh, got a zone. I uh, didn't use it. <laughs> I don't think even there if they did, I'm not sure they would have enough. 135, like, 126 from Uyashoda. Uyashoda is just keeping these really amazing board states like this deep in the game, and like you see what's lined up and what's coming. Uh, it's it's only like a matter of time, I suppose. Once you exactly. get kind of behind. And it's interesting with that APM difference, the game uh, did not seem so one-sided as the uh, as the numbers might suggest. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I guess credit to Bamji making some really good decision making there, you know? Yeah, some fantastic uh, down stacking and uh, just straight straight to the down stack too in all those scenarios and it really uh, really kept yeah. them alive. 
Okay, playing a much cleaner game now, though. This is 8-1, looking oh, at... We got a four wide. We got a... We got a ties coming from Uyashoda. Oh. Feels like Uyashoda's hunting for a really big zone here. Not, not gonna, gonna get really get anything, though. Uh, 49. And a 48 from, uh... From, uh... I, in my mind, I was about to say Akashi Robo. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't. I don't so, think Akashi Robo is getting 49 zones at any point. Oh, well, MG under now, a lot uh, of pressure pretty quickly here. Gonna have to find one of those crazy down stacks again. They do have half meter of zone here, and stack did open up quite nicely. But we should have about to move into that back to back state, and they're going for this STSD way in advance. Struggling to get the eyepiece over for Bamji is gonna end things early though. Yeah, that is going to be another round. Yashoda just uh, absolutely dominant in this uh, in this game. Yeah, these 100 APM runs back to back to back are just absolutely devastating here. It almost felt like Yashoda uh, was milking for a PC at the start. Uh, yeah, I, I was going to say the same. Looks like uh, not, but you know. Just a phase one. You know, honestly, like uh, that's like maybe the only thing you can kind of do wrong is uh, I mean PCs aren't uh, necessarily bad, but uh, you you kind of don't want to send that uh, disproportionate amount of lines to what you're clearing, uh, you know, with how zone, zone charges in this game. Yeah. Get a little bit, dig yourself into a disadvantage, even though you technically are giving that APM advantage. And this zone is looking to be really nice here from Uyashoda. Oh, now that's going to top him out. Oh, got yeah, the Yeah, there it is. Hot damn. Into a Tetris Oh, into the PC Tetris again. PC, but Bamji is fine. Bamji is still definitely Un in the game. Yeah, more or less unfazed from that first zone, and uh, you know, still in phase two, kind of surprisingly with the with the PCs. At least not you gonna see get the, the second uh, one. Yeah, not gonna get the easy uh, zone advantage. Oh, oh no, Uyashoda! This could That's be tough. uh, this could be Uyashoda first first round loss potentially. Yeah, there's there's definitely a scary moment. Like this is like a panic zone, and yeah, uh, the down stack it was good. Look enough. at Bamji's board. Yeah, Bamji is now in, uh... continuing their zone, and uh, oh, that their zone is, is not going to help pretty... things. It's going to be more than enough, though. You see, Uyushoda is under so much pressure now. They're going to be able to yeah. have half the zone at least by the time they start this. Which no is going to have gonna to show off that uh, purify world record ability right here if they want to survive this. Looking for the STSD, going to find at oh, least one the of them fractal. into the fractal. That's, that was a little greedy, but time. having this E piece just so clutch. Wow, what a survival! What a survival for Muya Shoda. Incredible judgment of, you know, like how many Absolutely. garbage lines are about to come in. Incredible judgment. Yeah, you got incredible judgment, taking some risks as well. I don't I don't think most people would have had the uh, the courage to set up that fractal after the, uh, the STSD. <laughs> Indeed, but that's the kind of stuff that keeps players like this in square one. Absolutely, it's what uh, it's what kept Muya Shoda in the, uh, the grand finals last year. You know, uh, just a superb ability to... Uh, play this game. There's both zones coming off here. Maybe. I showed it with a weird Bambi. one, but that, that was a nice combo. And it is going to send a, quite a bit of... Yeah, oh, not only are we yeah, out zoning, gonna... but completely eclipsing all the pressure that Bamji was able to kind of build yeah. up in between there. I think that was the, the longest round uh, so far in this set. And uh, quite a close one at that. You showed almost uh, almost bled just from one from one misdrop. That's right. Oh, that was probably the, the closest to come to seeing them like really be. Oh, MG. Scared, but wow! Finding things off with that quick Tetris PC, going into the second PC. That could have been good. real bad for Bamji with that misdrop after that PC was sent. No zone. Yeah. If, uh, if he got another one, that would have been lights out. Oh, but the fractal Tetris. This is looking really clean here for Uyashoda. Like just the back to back is. Just so clean. This zone, I feel like this zone from Uyashoda is going to be absolutely devastating. Yeah, looking, uh, not going to be an ulti. No IHS. Yeah, but to, 55 uh, is still pretty good. Into the C-spin is just... Yeah, and the tank. Be... Yeah, not gonna be... not gonna complete the T-spin. I don't think anybody would, uh, would blame Uyashoda <laughs> for, uh, for bailing on that. Yeah, absolutely. The tank working out, though. That's also one of my favorite things to do, like, tanking half the zone and then... Oh! oh. Bamji no. with that uh, rough accept. Gonna top out. Indeed, just caught right at the wrong moment. 
those are some of the most painful ways to go in this game, if you ask me. Yeah, you showed is uh, looking on the verge for a sweep here. Uh, but you know, it's never too okay. late. That PC is, oh, oh, okay. oh. The Tetris right at the perfect time to, for Bamji to stay alive. That could have been ugly. Seriously, okay, we should have looking for the C spins. So got a pretty big donation. And it's, oh, the C spin donation here. Keeping this back to back, this is going to be some magnificent stacking here. But Bamji is looking pretty good too. Like, they're hanging in there. They're able to keep things fairly even for now. But this zone comes off, and I have a good feeling about Uyashoda's zone as as usual. Ooh. Oh, wait a minute. Nice T-spin. Oh, oh, if uh, uh, Bamji had some uh, IRS knowledge, that would have been uh, an ulti. True, but okay, the zone's very close here. I think just two maybe lines off here. Oh, those oh, missed drops double miss drop. Tough stuff to deal with. A really nice Bam Bamji, scam, but not having the queue. For... I think Bamji was looking for an STSD there. I'm not, Absolutely. I'm not quite sure. That was yeah. that skin, 100%. Really good stuff, but oh, not quite able to do it. Match point for Yashoda. 130, 125. Yeah, that was definitely just a cold round at the beginning because both these players have uh, have definitely uh, warmed up, so to speak. Yeah, absolutely. Although these are still some, all things considered, some pretty quick rounds. Yeah. Oh, no. Okay, pretty nice little fix here from, from Bamji. That was a, yeah, that was a beautiful little fix. That was a very high speed, very pretty good looking fix, honestly, for that kind of misdrop super early on, which can be pretty devastating. Has to fail on the T spin to stay alive, although MG's starting to shape this stack up in the seven two and yeah. oh. oh no. The way they uh Just continued when they start on that cooking. stacking before they uh before they hesitated, I thought I thought that was intentional. <laughs> I know. God dude, just when they started to like actually go cooking. Yeah. Definitely not too late to uh to Okay, the, yeah, okay, never again. mind. They recovered. That was some really, really good SRS knowledge at high speed. You see the Z spin? Yeah, that was uh that was a beautiful little Z spin there. Can I get promo on the phone, please. <laughs> you did not have to do that. <laughs> uh, Bamji, that was a yeah. nice donation, nice little fix. Yeah, staying very, alive. Good way to fix that kind of jank. Not really. T spin triple into this nice little down stack, but Uya showed a powering on as usual, looking yeah. to make this 9 0 stack keep going. Some great intuition from Bamji there to, uh, you know, create those T spins, knowing that, uh, you know. You know, Uyashoda is always going to be sending. Uyashoda never stops sending. <laughs> That's right. And oh, I'm keeping uh, Uyashoda's back to back throughout this zone. It's been particularly strong, you, you know, almost yeah. until the very last line. Oh, I, I was, Interesting not... decision here to go for this float, but I mean, I guess. I This is the one time I'm questioning something Uyashoda just did, <laughs> but like, look at the down stack. So I guess it's fine. It like really doesn't matter. I think I think he's, uh, he's, he's comfortable. <laughs> Absolutely. Absol this is this is that like flex mode of the match. I feel like almost. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. TC is definitely a uh, spectacle game, right? <laughs> yeah, a little it's bit. It's all about the big numbers. I'm feeling and like the, uh, uh, fancy spins. I'm feeling like I'm sitting in that Coliseum right now, open room. <laughs> oh, this down stack for okay. Oh, this that is very is, creative uh, extension. Red hot. That's probably it's gonna be. I don't know. Bamji's got the out. He does not. You showed with a 7-0 sweep. Finishing off 137, 119. That was dominant. Quite what a, a fantastic performance showing. from uh, from Bamji as well. It's going to be uh, an exciting uh, few more matches to see with uh, with Bamji, as well as Yashoda. Yeah, absolutely. It was a it was a very good one to watch, honestly. Absolutely. I think a good way to start things off. A lot closer than than it would imply. But, uh, yeah, you know, I, I think uh, I'm certainly not the only person that's ever said this, but, uh, you know, the, the score never tells the whole story of the match, not by uh, not by a long shot. You know, th think sure. about, uh, you know, Kazu 10-3 in Grand Finals last year. You look at that score, you wouldn't know that uh, those three rounds were the first ones that, uh, that Kazu had ever lost <laughs> in a TC.